Welcome to the short video from the Application Express development team on Application Express 5.0 and the Page Designer toolbar. I already have the sample database application loaded up and I'm currently viewing page one. And you can see that there's a number of options within our toolbar here. The first one here actually shows us the actual page we're on, allows us to navigate to additional pages. Next one is the page lock. We then have undo and redo capabilities, create, utilities. Next is settings. This badge here is for team development. The next one across is for comments. The next button is for shared components. The next to last one is save page. And then the last button is save and run page. So let's go and have a look first of all at this page one. I have a pop up here which I can then use to go to a different page. I can also type into this region if I like, or I can simply select the go button here to refresh the current page or go to another page once I've entered it in. If I click on the go button, you'll notice that it's coming up with this warning here because I have actually made some changes to this page. If I was to say leave this page, then it will actually just refresh page one for me. I'm just going to click on stay on this page. The next one, lock, I'm just gonna put in a quick comment and go ahead and lock this page. You'll notice that the button changes to green for any other developers that access this page. It will be shown as red because of the fact they won't be able to make changes. Within Page Designer, you can make multiple changes to the page without saving anything. Unlike on the previous views where as soon as you made a change to certain attributes and wanted to move to the next item, for example, then it would actually save that previous item and move to the next one. With this one, I've already made some changes and I'm just gonna undo that change. If I highlight this, it'll actually show me that it's going to undo this label for me of go. And in fact, you can see it's now back to new. If I redo the change, it's changed it back to what it was. Create, pretty much the same as the old views, being able to create a page, pages as copy. If I go down here, then I can actually go and create a feature or to do directly. Within the utilities, again, very much the same as the old component and tree views. The settings is very specific to page designer. So for example, I might want to show the rendering by component type, and you'll see that this has changed. When I go back in, you'll see that it's checked. I can also show labels rather than names. And utilizing these two bottom options here, I can go to the old component view or tree view if I choose to. The badge here shows how many team development entries there are. Within the team development, it actually shows me the features, to-dos, etc. that I have on this page and I can drill directly into them. The comments badge shows how many comments have been entered against the page. This button is an operational, an EA1. Shared components will actually navigate away from the page designer, so therefore if you've got any changes, they'll need to be saved first and it'll bring up the shared components page. At the moment, when I click on save, it actually has a pop-up. You have to click on that to acknowledge that you've saved the changes. And save and run will actually just save the existing page and then run it in a new tab or a new window. I can go straight back into it by clicking on edit page one. It's gone back to my other window and I'm back in the page designer. One of the key things with having different pages is the fact that we don't want to have to refresh this page every time we come back to it, and it's exactly the same way that I left it. So thank you very much for watching this video.